What do fake gurus, online course sellers, your uncle Dave, who does multi-level marketing all have in common? Their product is you. They don't actually care if you get your first client, if you make a sale from the products that they're telling you to sell, but don't fret. I'm gonna share with you exactly how I got my first client and how you can get clients as well in the automation space. If you don't know me, my name is Matt. I run an automation agency and I'm helping other people do the same thing as I just started making content and people wanted to know how to. But I got my first client by accident. Sorry, very anti-climate but it's the truth. I was working in the fitness industry, coaching under a good friend of mine and working in his business, I saw heaps of opportunities for automation. I just loved automation at the time and I knew that I could help him out by automating some repeatable tasks. And I said to him, "Can if he paid for the tools, could I just do it for him for free? And absolutely, he said yes. And that's how I fell into onboarding automation and seeing what his clients go through when they sign up with him and how I can make that faster and make it easier for the coaches to just start coaching. Which leads me to my first bit of advice. Start where you are and look for your clients there. So my first bit of advice for getting your first client is look at where you currently are. Are you working a job? Are you working with friends? Or are there people around you that you know have businesses that could use automation? And ask them if you can automate something because it's always better to start where you are rather than trying to find a niche, trying to find a business that you can help and all of these other ways that gurus tell you to start why not just start with the people who are around you? It's gonna be a lot easier because they already trust you. So find someone close to you, find out what keeps them up at night and see if you can solve that problem using automation. And when you have that offer to fix it for them, ask to do it for free. And if they find value from it, then ask them if there is a monthly cost that you can set up just to cover your costs. But if you don't have anywhere to start, you don't think that you have anyone around you, then this is my second way that you can get your first automation client. Find something that you're very interested in. It could be gaming, it could be esports, it could be uh, fitness, it could be any anything and call 100 business owners from that niche. One of my mentors told me this when he started, this is what he did and it worked really well. And I've done the same thing looking to find new business. It's really simple. You get on the phone and you say, hi, my name is Matt. I work in the automation space and I'm looking to get into this industry. I'm calling business owners to find out what their biggest problem is. What keeps you up at night in regards to your business? And they'll probably have a bit of a chuckle and say, oh, it's, I don't get enough leads or it's, oh, I spend so much time on paperwork or I spend a lot of time following up leads or I have this process that I do every day and it takes me three hours. They will tell you something, that information is gold. Now, every single result that you get from the 100, write it down in a spreadsheet. And once you're done, compile the information, look for common trends, and then create a solution for that. Once you have that solution, call back the people who had that problem and say, hey, it's Matt from the automation agency I spoke to a couple of days ago. I've created this solution. I wanna trial it in your business. Can I do it for you for free? And most of the time you've already spoken to them once. So you've built a little bit of trust and you're going at it for free. So there's a little bit more trust there. They're gonna say yes. And once the trial is done, you just have that conversation about, hey, maybe we can look at a monthly payment if this is working for you. Now you might be saying, Matt, I don't wanna work for free. Well, I did say this is a no BS guide. So you're gonna have to do it for a bit. Every single mentor I have spoken to has told me to work for free in some capacity. When I first started personal training, my mentor at the time said, get people in front of you and start coaching them and coach them until they want to pay you. So what he meant was coach them for free until the value that I was giving them outweighed their guilt and they wanted to pay me something. And it happened every single time I would take on a new client. I would just genuinely say, hey, do you want to do another session? Do you want to do another session? Do you want to do another session? One, it made me look busier. Two, I got experience. And three, they started to feel like they owed me something. So when I said, oh, I want to charge you $80 a session, or they, a couple of them actually said to me, I wanna start paying you because I feel bad. It wasn't an issue because the value that I had provided had already outweighed the cost that I was asking. And when I started in automation, I worked for free as well. I worked for free for my mate, who was actually the same mentor who told me to work for free in the first place, created a solution for him, implemented it, and now he's still an ongoing client of mine. The thing is, when you randomly call someone, they have no idea who you are. You're just a string of numbers to them. They'll have very high walls up and their reason to trust you is zero. And what you need to do is build enough trust that they start to flip that scale. Now, when you're working for free, there's three things you need to do. What I learned from Apple is number one, under promise and over deliver. If something's gonna take you two days, tell them it's gonna take you four. If you say to someone that you're gonna get something done by close of business tomorrow, get it done by close of business today. It is always nice to have things done quicker than actually meeting a deadline. Which leads me to number two, work your ass off when it comes to communication. One of the ways you can build trust is through communication and making sure your client, your free client, knows where you're at at 
every step of the way for major checkpoints. If you told them you've almost finished implementing the solution, fantastic. If you tell them you're ready to test and wanna see if that you can give them a call and run through some testing, great. Do it with as much communication as possible. It keeps people in the loop and it continues to build trust. And you are gonna make them feel like they are your only client and you're giving 100% of yourself to them. It makes them feel special. And number three is make sure the solution actually works. As soon as the solution has been running for a couple of days, ask for as much feedback as possible. Because if the person isn't 150% sold on your solution, they're not going to want to pay you after the week's done. Ask them if it's defeating the biggest problem they have. And if it isn't, ask them what needs to change in order for it to actually defeat that problem. Once you have people at 100% happy with the solution, that's when you can say, hey, maybe we could look at a monthly cost for using this solution. Or maybe we can look at a once-off cost if it's not gonna take you any time to run it. I hope this information helps you move forward with your agency. And if you're looking for a community of like-minded people, I have a Discord that you can access through my free course, which is on automation as well, below, uh, where you can rub shoulders with people who are doing this exact process and bounce ideas off and ask questions. And if your business needs help with automation or marketing and you want me to help you out with it, uh, book in a call through my website in the links below, knockon.info forward slash automation or forward slash marketing, depending on which one you need. And we can have a chat about how I can help you in your business. But apart from that, have a great day. Bye.